Brenda, I was reading in your book, it's all about Oklahoma's dragonflies and damselflies. Mm -hmm. And we're actually at some, some place mentioned in your book. So where are we? We're at Cavanaugh Lake, the first place where E.B. Williamson collected dragonflies in 1907, just before statehood. Yeah, he apparently came from Texas, and for some reason he jumped off the train in Worcester for a few days. And then I assume he came up the rail line through here, which is where we are. <laughs> and the lake itself was attached to the rail line, right? Yeah, that's my understanding. We learned today that um, the, the lake actually um, was used for the water for uh, the steam engines coming through. Wow. All right, Brenda, so it looks like we might have a few dragonflies right here on the edge of the water. Do you have any guesses of what they might be? Uh, most of these look like blue dashers and eastern pond hawks so far. Okay, so a blue dasher, can you give me kind of a guess of what that might look like? Like key, um, key features to hone in on? Got a blue abdomen with a little black tip towards the end and little stripy thorax, kind okay. of tiger stripes. And they're fairly common, like I'll, I could see these across most of Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're definitely all across Oklahoma. Let's see if we can try to catch one. All right, looks like there's one right in front of you. <laughs> all right, you got it. So this is gonna be the blue dasher, right? Yep, the blue dasher. Okay. So when we catch them in the net, try to confine them towards the end. Make sure that they're deep in the net so they don't get away. Just gently pin them by the by their wings. Just pull, push them together. You can see how tiny they are. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> um, this particular male is a little older, so it doesn't have. It has the stripes, but it's not. Um, yellow and black, like on a younger male, that would um, have the classic tiger stripes. Um, but the, the stripes are definitely um, a good key for them. Their okay. wings vary quite a bit, so you have to, um, that, that can throw people off. Even even really experienced people can, um, especially early on in the season, when you first start seeing them, you think, wait, is that a blue dasher or not? <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So this is a common species that we can see across the state. Yes. Or most uh -huh. across the state. Great. Um, and then they've got these huge eyes. Uh huh. And Definitely. they have big jaws, right? So dragonflies are are going to be eating other yep. insects. Top predators. Great. So. Cool. I'm gonna not want to hold them too long because it'll. Oh. So then another species we could find here is the pond hawk. You said right, the eastern pond yeah. hawk. So Do that's you also a, a quite variable species. The males will be closer to the water um, and they, they will um, be green to, to completely blue and anything in between that. Of course. And then <laughs> the, the females you'll see um, away from the ponds generally unless they're ready to, to mate. Um, and so they will, um, they're, they're black, um, green and white. And they're just okay. They're really pretty, <laughs> and they're tied to the water. Because yeah, yeah. Um, some species will um, can live up to like about six years in the wow. water. So most of their life is actually aquatic. So we think of them as terrestrial because most people enjoy them yeah. when they're flying around. Yeah. But they're actually aquatic insects, and they're like another top predator in the water too. Yes, they are. <laughs> they will eat fish. Wow, they eat craw crayfish. They can. They can eat pretty much whatever they want. <laughs> wow. Well, do you want to see if we can find a pond hawk? I don't know if sure. we can walk over on the, the top part of the... Oh, here's one. We've got a 100% success rate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see how he didn't get all the way down, so try to shake him down a little bit. Do the same thing, just pinch the net. Okay, so just gently pinch them again. This is actually my favorite stage uh, for development of the males because it's it's still green like when they're um, they're juveniles. Okay. But then it um, they start getting this blue. So okay. when they're uh, they're full um, adults, the males will be completely blue. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And so this, I, I have always just like this green and this blue. Yeah, that's a really and great I think contrast. It's really pretty. Yeah. So this is an eastern pond hawk male. Yes. And mm -hmm. that's another common species that we could find across the state or yep. most across. You feel 
kind of readjust See, that's himself. what I try to do. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, let him sit there. I mean, it's got to be traumatic to have this yeah. big human come and poom. So, <laughs> but usually they fly away really quickly, and then you know that they're they're doing okay. Um, sometimes you have to just set them on a branch or something. Okay. But, like this is a perfect size lake. Um, just start watching uh, in the summer. There'll, there'll just be a lot of dragonflies nice. that are much easier to identify, and then you start feeling more comfortable with identification. And you can just and wait can branch out. for them to kind of perch and yeah. and get a good look at, at all their characteristics and mm -hmm. colors and where those colors are. So how many could somebody expect to find in Oklahoma? How many have you guys documented in Oklahoma? There are 176 species in Oklahoma. That's wild. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> we are ninth in the, in the country. Wow. The highest diversity. Nice, nice. And so you, you and other biologists have kind of made it a, a big mission for you guys to come out to lakes like this, to go to creeks and all across the state. But you guys are also mm -hmm. leaning on, on people that don't have a career in biology, right? Yep. So mm -hmm. those, are, those are called citizen scientists, right? Yep. I think the citizen scientists aren't given the credit that they deserve. I mean, some of these citizen scientists that we have, um, they technically do have a biology background, um, but they maybe do some other uh, profession. Okay. Um, kind of like Williamson. Yeah, he was a <laughs> banker. Did something, yeah, a banker who, who became the world uh, odontologist. He was world famous. Wow. Um, when, he, when he passed away in 1933, everybody knew who he was. He contributed a ton. To, to the study of dragonflies. <laughs> if I am interested in dragonflies and I'm seeing a dragonfly, which I think we've called a blue dasher in front of us, mm -hmm. uh, what can I do to, to help you know about this blue dasher here? So I could take a picture of it mm -hmm. um, and then I could, where could I post it or what could I do with it? You can there? post them on um, Odonata Central is a portal. Um, a lot of people use iNaturalist um, and some of those records get ported into Odonata Central, okay. which is really Really the the main dragonfly um, portal um, but whatever is easiest on you is what I try to tell people yeah I'm feeling kind of stupid because I've been holding on to this net with her like dear life and I haven't used it a single time <laughs> well, go catch one. <laughs> I might try to catch one here I don't see any of our dashers There's that were here right oh I see them <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna try to get the net as close as possible right yeah and then just kind of swoosh Ooh, into them yep. there you go did you I catch him? All right, cool. All right, so. All right, so he's in hand, and I want to get his wings together. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. So this is a, another blue You're dasher? Natural. Yep. All right, great. Well, Brenda, thanks so much for, for having us out here. This is really fun to visit, kind of such a historic spot, and, and right yeah. here in, in Oklahoma. Um, it's a great place. Yeah. You forget how just amazing the nature is in Oklahoma. So yeah, and <laughs> come out to a pond and remember it. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Yeah, and 176 species are, are kind of a possibility of what we could see, you know, in this state is is just another really cool thing to think yeah, about. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. <laughs>